Hey guys, so today I want to compare iOS 7 on my iPhone 5 versus uh, iOS 6 that I do have available here uh, on my iPod Touch. So we in this video we will be going over Safari and the updates with that little app. It's a far of course, it's the browser in iOS, uh, Apple's little browser. So let's check it out, let's open it up over here and let's check out the UI because it really have made some amazing UI updates uh, in the new iOS 7. So the first thing we can see here in iOS 6, we could see here that it's a little bit more bulky. We have uh, a separate uh, area here uh, for the search option. And then we do have another area here when you want to type in a web page. Uh, if we compare that against the new kind of cool UI that you do get inside of the, uh, the Galaxy, <laughs> the iPhone 5's iOS 7 update, you can see it's way more clean. Uh, they really, really brushed off a lot of the UI and of course in iOS 7 they made it a little bit more slim down uh, with more of a black and white theme. Uh, so you can just tap on this one. And you see I have the reload option. Uh, but I think this is a very, very good update because this is what people want to see. They want to have a big bar there to see what website they're on. And many people probably reload their website sometimes. But you don't really need a separate bar here for a search. Search should already be integrated in this one. So when you search something, uh, it, it will come up anyways. So uh, if you continue on also here to check out the UI, especially at the bottom here, you can see that you still have the same kind of buttons. Uh, but they made it a little bit different. So uh, forward and back keys, definitely a whole new UI there, not this blue uh, kind of UI. So forward and back, pretty obvious. We have this button over here. Uh, when we want to share, uh, you can see here, they kind of have the same uh, options still, uh, same kind of alternatives over there. It can go back to console. And then we do have, of course, uh, the place here uh, to check out our bookmarks. Still have that option available as well. Uh, you can see that I do have here now finally on the iPhone a private uh, area. Uh, if you want to go fully private, then that of course is 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 pretty nice. If you want to go search for porn or something, uh, it's pretty nice. It's pretty simple to do. If you want to not save any browsing history, of course. Uh, and then, of course, we do have the tab system here that they also remade to an even better tab system. Now, the tab system in iOS 6 wasn't bad at all. Uh, really, really a, a good tab system here. And you can see here, uh, you can just, uh, pop up a new page here uh, on the side and it will open it up. So very, very straightforward over there. Uh, on the uh, in iOS 7, they have this little bit more of a like a cover flow effect. Uh, so uh, you do can just uh, close it. You can't swipe it to remove. I'm pretty sure. Yes, you can actually. Oops. So it, it seems to be inspired a little bit by. What? Is that a glitch? It could be a glitch or something with the software. Okay. So it seems to be inspired a little bit by Google Chrome, uh, the Chrome beta browser that you do get a well ball inside of Android. Uh, so definitely nice there, looks a little bit better. Uh, so if you take a look here also at the browser here, uh, we can see here that uh, I would say that probably white looks uh, about the same here on both these two devices. Uh, let's let's continue on here to go to the full page. We can see here that when we go up and down, see, maybe you can scroll down a little bit quicker here on the iPhone. Um, I'm not kind of sure though. Uh, let's go to the full side. You can see that the loading there, it fully uh, goes up there, while it's just a small little bar there. Okay, there we go. Uh, so it loads up the full page here on uh, both the devices. Now let's uh, see here when we go in and out.
as Apple always has been very, very good here at optimizing. So we don't get any weird lag or anything. Uh, it's extremely quick here at uh, rearranging everything. Uh, so let's just go in here and let's just tap on this. There we go. So it loads up very, very quick here uh, on iOS 6. But of course, that may be a little bit stable. Uh, iOS 7 right now may be a little bit unstable, uh, of course, because uh, it's the new stuff. You can see here a different, little bit different colors here uh, on the two guys, or it's actually it's actually the same guy. And in case you didn't know, so you can see here double tap, and uh, let's just try to go back. Now let's uh, try something else. Let's go and tap on this. There we go. So overall, th there's not super, the, co the core difference here between these is of course the UI is um, uh, very much updated here on both the devices uh, or at least in iOS 7 there is some big updates uh, reading mode you still have a reading mode on both these two devices so uh, let's see here if we can go into reading mode uh, and reading mode of course is like a mode where you only do see the text and images uh, very very good if you're on an article but maybe you're on a full page and you just want to get the image and uh, usually you have an image and usually you have a main kind of core text and this reading mode definitely uh, is helping you out when you are checking out those things uh, let's just go now and close this wait a sec Okay, this is also pretty interesting. In reading mode here, you can see that it's a little bit different here. Probably a little bit better here in iOS 7. Uh, you can see that when I go, uh, you can see that when I'm at the top here, I stu they'll still see the bar there at the bottom. So definitely good there that I can quickly open up a new tab or anything. I don't have to close this by clicking on done. Uh, I, I can also, when I go down, this one up there at the top is getting even smaller, but I still see which website I'm currently on. Uh, well, it is just staying uh, the same there at the top always uh, in iOS 6. So uh, definitely, definitely a nice little update over there. Uh, you do have an option here to change the kind of the text size. Uh, you don't seem to have that option in iOS 7 since like they removed that. Maybe because people didn't use it. Uh, we have a share page that's up at the top there and of course it's just down at the bottom here uh, you have to click on done though uh, to go out of that while we can just simply have a reading mode open up and then open up like let's say a new tab uh, on in, in iOS 7 so definitely a nice nice little update there and if you want to go out of reading mode here of course you just tap there at the top page and it will exit you out of reading mode so Oh, let's see here. So if you want to go back a page, it seems like we can do it like this as well. And that could of course be very nice. Uh, if you don't want to go down, then you don't have to go down to the back key. So you have another option to go back, back a page. Uh, definitely very, very nice there. Uh, the very money or very many like tiny small cool updates here let's see and we can also go back like that which is uh, oh, which is pretty pretty useful so let's see here if we can go out again let's uh, try to load up another little thing here Here we go. 
So it is loading up all the things in here. Verber small text. You can see that when I did auto tap there, it automatically aligned the text there. Uh, but if we zoom in a lot, it doesn't uh, reflow the text so we can see everything um, like the HTC One awesome phone is doing. Um, that's, um, that would be extremely cool to have that kind of feature. Uh, the App Store also might have another uh, third party uh, browser if you want to check that out. So a quick little look here comparing iOS 6 browser versus iOS 7. Uh, if, if you do want me to compare any more specific features with these two phones, please let me know about that and I will see what I can do. I mean, definitely you can see that there's a lot of updates here in terms of icons and also in terms of the UI that um, every single internal app, like the music app, the, the phone app, uh, the mail app, all of them have been updated. Uh, so um, there's a lot of updates coming up when you will get the new iOS 7 update and I also heard like a rumor or something that all of the apps that has changed appearance here that it could be something temporary, temporary that Apple did cook up uh, just to uh, have it uh, have iOS 7 like ready to go a little bit for developers uh, before WWDC. Uh, hopefully you did enjoy this video. If you did, please leave a like and give some feedback down below. And hopefully I'll see you all in the next video. Yeah, peace.